Class Action Park is about Action Park. And in Class Action Park, the name was one of many nicknames given to this infamous, infamous amusement and water park in New Jersey, mostly in the 1980s. There was also Traction Park, Accident Park, Fracture Park, and as we settled on, Class Action Park. And this park had this reputation because it was so, so dangerous, filled with rides that made so little, little physical sense, oftentimes designed by people with absolutely no background in engineering or physics or anything, tested out by very young, 14, 15, 16-year-old, oftentimes drunk, oftentimes stoned, teenage employees who were rather disinterested, should we say, in, in the finer points of safety, and then populated by just rabid, aggressive, totally. fight-picking teenagers. And it became this kind of petri dish where all of these elements went together into this stew that earned it this, this rather legendary reputation. And the most perverse thing about the whole place is that everybody knew it was dangerous. And that wasn't, that wasn't a bug. That was a feature. People weren't staying <laughs> away because it was dangerous. That's why they would show up, was to experience that danger. And, you know, it's so great, especially for my generation, because it reminds you of your youth, like the 80s of where there there wasn't many, I should, I should say rules compared to now, compared to now where we're definitely, you know, sitting down with our kids saying, how do you feel? And we're double checking on them constantly. The 80s was like. My mom just wanted me to come back when it was dark outside or if it was past midnight. She didn't care where I was. It was just yeah. way more free. And it totally brings you back. You captured that feeling of being that age at that certain time where I don't think the world will ever be like that again. It, it, it's a it's a time that has come and go and will never come again. And that's what's so amazing about Action Park in this era in general is that people look at this and you can simultaneously look at this with a sense of horror. This place was terrible. How was this ever allowed to exist? Oh my goodness, people got <laughs> really hurt there. Some people got killed there. And at the same time, you can say, you know what, I, I miss it. And that's what's so strange about Action Park is people who went there, people who today will gleefully show me their scars at Action Park. In the next sentence, they'll say, Man, I wish I could go back. Man, I could wish, wish I could go back. And, and that's what we wanted to do with this movie was capture both sides. We wanted to say to people, you know, you can. this is an absurd place. It's And objectively speaking, its mere existence is funny. It is hilarious. At the same time, people got hurt there. Some people got killed there. And those two things can absolutely coexist. You can laugh at something and also be terrified of it. Right, right, right. I mean, is there a happy medium that you think we can ever find again? <laughs> you know, I, I, what's, we are a, a people of extremes. I think, I think that, uh, you know, I, we, we miss something, everything today, especially, I mean, I'm talking to you on zoom right now, <laughs> like, you know, there, there's something that's lost without the physicality of the way the world used to be. Right. And I think we're all nostalgic today for the mere act of going outside, but in a greater sense, we're nostalgic for going on adventures for our childhoods. I mean, this is a time that's captured in like the Goonies in, in ET and totally. in, in all of these movies. Like we just think of kids going on adventures, their parents nowhere to be found. Where are the parents in the breakfast club? Right. Where are the <laughs> right. parents in the breakfast club <laughs> and kids are going on adventures and they're finding treasure. They're fighting pirates. Action Park was the closest thing in real life to that that there was. And the things people were doing at Action Park, in, in, the, in the, any individual sense, the things jumping off of cliffs, racing cars, getting into trouble, getting hurt, it's just stuff kids are doing already in the woods, in swimming holes, and all of these places they were taking themselves. What made Action Park different was that it was an amusement park. You would pay to go and do these things. And because of that, people might have this expectation that it was safe, that it was regulated, that the totally. rides weren't going to hurt you. But the thing about Action Park was it, it wasn't. It was basically the equivalent of going to an amusement park that was, uh, you know, an unregulated swimming hole with rusty nails everywhere, right? Right, it was and an not even park. built by, like, anyone professional. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. These rides were built either by people in-house who had no training in, in physics or engineering. They were just, they're actually, Jenny, I got a story for you. So you worked at MTV for some some time, right? So yeah. MTV Beach House, you're 93 or 94. I think the second year they were doing it, they wanted to build a water slide. 
that go from the roof of the beach house into the pool. They needed to build this thing in a week, no testing, no certification, no engineering. Who are you going to call when you want that built? They called up Action Park. No. So the guys from Action Park drive from Jersey out to Long Island to the Hamptons where the MTV Beach House was, and they throw together this ragtag, slopped together slide that went from the roof of the MTV Beach House into the swimming pool. If you look at videos online, you can see like Lisa Lowe playing and an Action Park sign behind her to this Holy day. Holy cow, no <laughs> way. Did anyone get hurt? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> What was that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Did anyone get hurt? Do you know? Are you aware? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. There was actually a lot, like, uh, Headbangers Ball filmed that episode uh, with Allison Chains at the park. There's something just about that chaotic air, that energy of, like, 90s rock and roll that I think Action Park really totally. encapsulated. Yeah. I missed it by, like, three years. Three years later, I was doing MTV Beach House, so I, I, I kind of missed that window. 